Now, the Vikings are 0-3. Started out strong in the first half of each game. They end up going. Now, they're 0-3. They lose every single game. Percy Harvin versus Tony Romo. I'm watching the game on Sunday, and I see a guy fully padded up, maybe threw up in the in the garbage can, meaning Percy Harvin. The guys are down. All they need to do is go down and get a field goal. They can win the game in overtime. And this guy is sitting on the sidelines because he's got an upset stomach. Oh, poor Percy. Don't want you to get there on the field and throw up again because my stomach might get more upset. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Give this guy a skirt to go out and play. Tony Romo has a broken rib and a punctured, punctured lung and goes out there and plays four quarters and brings his back his team back to win at the end of the game. He's got a third long. The guy makes a huge play with a broken rib and a punctured lung. And, oh, by the way, the guy didn't sleep in a bed the entire week. The guy had to sleep in a in a chair sitting up. It was one night this week he got to actually have the chair recline that he could sleep in. The guy shows up on Monday Night Football, picks up a win, drives his team down with a broken rib and a punctured lung. We've got a team here that's just battling, can't get on the right track. McNabb doesn't know which way he's going. Percy Harvin's one of the only threats we have downfield across the middle. And this guy wants to shoot on the sidelines. I don't feel very good, coach. I got a little bit of a temperature and my stomach hurts. I'm going to sit over here and watch my guys lose the game. It's a joke. A quarterback. A quarterback out toughing a slot receiver, a wide out. The guy should be embarrassed. If that guy sits out one more practice the entire year, embarrassed. If he misses one more play, embarrassed. To get stood up by a QB, of all things, a Dallas Cowboy quarterback? I mean, that is the pretty boy of all pretty boys. Star in the helmet. The cowgirls, and this guy's sitting on the sidelines because he's got a stomach ache. You know what? This is what Percy Harvin needs. This is exactly what Percy Harvin needs to hear right now, today, going into this week to make sure this guy gets on track. Take off your bedroom slippers. Put on your marching <laughs> shoes. Shake it off. Stop complaining. Stop grumbling. Stop crying. We are going to press on. We've got work to do. <laughs> That's the motivational speech for Percy Harvin. Take off those bedroom slippers. Take off your bedroom slippers. <laughs> Put on your marching shoes. Shake it off. And get in the game, Percy. We're 0-3 now. You're, got, you're tied at the end of regulation, and you're going to sit on the sidelines because you got an upset stomach? Oh, my goodness. Change the culture of the team. That is ridiculous. 